Hi guys, I'm David and this is seventh episode in this Free Da Vinci Resolve course. I want to apologize for not uploading in the past two weeks. We had some technical difficulties. So I hope that you will understand. Today we are talking about color. So first of all, you want to choose your hero frame, a frame that will in the best manner represent your whole shot. You will make adjustments on that frame. First of all, you want to raise your contrast and saturation. So you will see what you are working with and um, much easier adjust uh, your picture. For balancing picture, you can use scopes, for example, uh, RGB parade or waveform. There is also vector scope, it is very good for skin tones. And there is histogram. And basically what you want to do when you do your correction or balance, you want to have all three parameters or colors kind of in the same area. So in the parade, you want to match your highlights, your midtones, your shadows. Also in uh, waveform, there should be actually a white color. You watch your picture and your scopes and you play the game at here, take away there. So it, it's really a game and, and it has to be really subtle. You want to use color wheels because they will not break your image and you'll be good to go. You can also use uh, low pass and high pass. If you crush your uh, highlights or shadows with that controls, you can turn some of it back and have that really smooth transition. We can start with lift, maybe lower that down and maybe you gain a bit up. So again, it's all about balance. You just watch, watch your scopes, watch your image and try to make it really balanced. When your image is properly balanced, you can start create your look how you want. You can use LUTs or start from scratch. If you have 8-bit image, I highly recommend you to use uh, Hewers options for example, for skin adjustments or anything else that you want to, that specific color, uh, you want to control something. There is really a bunch of options. Maybe hue versus hue for grass, uh, how we will show in this example, or anything else really. Also use notes and um, you can always add a vignette in the end if it is necessary. I know that it isn't something special, but you really have to be gentle and just play around. Use uh, scopes if you don't have good enough monitor, calibrated monitor. So don't go too crazy uh, because your image could be broken. Those are some of the tips. If you did enjoy this episode, Please subscribe, hit the bell button so you don't miss any future lessons and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.